Dr. McCord saved my life. And I'm gonna tell you why he saved my life. I suffered with back problems for 23 years before I found Dr. McCord. And I went to a lot of doctors, different doctors. I was uh, went to emergency rooms. I was admitted in the hospitals so many times and stayed days and days and days. And I just couldn't realize how I could be in so much pain, but doctors couldn't real figure out why I was in so much pain. So I went to one doctor. They thought I have nerve problems. So they gave me a nerve test. It wasn't my nerves. Then I had went to another doctor and they had me go through physical therapy, exercise and all this. I went to another doctor. They used to give me injections. And I just couldn't get well. So it got to the point that I just figured that I had to just hurt. So a lot of years I worked and I hurt and I worked and I hurt because this was something I thought I had to live with. So sometime it got to a point that my back eased up for a while and gave me relief. You know, and I said, well, maybe it's gone. So then when it come back, it comes back with a vengeance. And it would throw me in bed for a couple of weeks. So I had to take pills, muscle relaxers and pain pills. And the only thing it did was just cover the problem up. It never did fix the problem. One day I hurt so bad. I was laying in bed and the only thing I could do was just cry. I said, it's got to be something done because I have to work. So I decided to go to a chiropractor. I didn't know who to go to. So I just opened up the telephone book one day and closed my eyes and just pointed. <laughs> then I found a chiropractor. So I went to a chiropractor and I told him what all I was going through, how much I was suffering. So he said he was gonna to try to help me. So I went to him and he was, you know, doing different things. And I went to him for several weeks and he got me back to work. So I went back to work. It lasted for a while. And then I started hurting again. So I went back to him and he adjusted me and got me back to work. So it came back and I just said, well, I'm just gonna just have to hurt and work. I tried everything, heat and pad, just everything I could. So it just went on and went on and um, then I went to more doctors and I done took MRIs, I took x-rays, they just couldn't find out what the problem was, they just couldn't find the problem. And I said, now I know I'm not crazy. I know it's something wrong with me, it's something going on. And the pain was coming from my back and it was going down my leg. It was, my leg was being nummy, it was tingling, it was, I had a burning sensation. A lot of times I couldn't walk. I would get up out of the bed and I couldn't even walk. So I still had to push on because I had to work. So one day, a couple of years after I had been going back and forth to the chiropractor, I went back to him. And he said, Terry, he said, you know, I don't know exactly what's wrong with you, but I believe you're gonna have to have surgery because I just can't get you well and you've been coming to me off and on for a couple of years. 
So he said, I know a friend of mine, his name is Dr. McCord. I'm going to send you to him. And I said, oh, here we go with another doctor. He said, well, now we're going to try him. So I said, okay. So when I left his office and driving home, I was thinking to myself, now this is another doctor that I'm going to go to. And he's going to tell me, Terry, I don't know what's wrong with you. This is something that you're going to have to live with. I said, I, I, I can't go to this, I can't take this. Um, so when I got home, I called my daughters, they came over and I told them, because they've been with me through this whole time, because they was in middle school when I, you know, got this back problem, so they've been going through it with me for all of these years. So I sat them down, and I told him, I said, I love you. And this might not be a good thing for a mother to tell her child, but I have to let you know that I had suffered with this back problem for 23 years. I said, your mama can't do it anymore. I said, Dr. Davis is gonna send me to, again, another doctor. And if this doctor can't help me, I said, I'm going to take an overdose of pills, and I have to go. I can't suffer anymore. My kids said, Mama, we love you, and I know what you're going through, but this doctor will help you. So I came to Dr. McCord, and I met him. I sat down, and I told him, everything that I was going through. He said, Terry, he said, I'm going to help you. I'm going to find out what's wrong, and I'm going to help you. I said, Dr. McCord, I said, if you don't find out what's going on with me and you be able to help me, I said, I'm going to have to take some pills because I, I just can't go through it. He said, oh, Terry, he said, I'm going to help. And he talked to me. Dr. McCord wasn't a doctor to me. Dr. McCord became my friend. And he, um, I think he gave me a prescription of pills um, to take the information away and took me off from work and told me to go home and have take some bed rest and then he would see me in two weeks. So I did everything Dr. McCord told me to do and took my pills. And when I came back, I told Dr. McCord that I just, I didn't feel any better. I said, uh, the pills took the aching away in my back, but this burning sensation that I'm having down my leg, I said, it just won't go away. I said, sometime I just can't hardly walk. So he um, told me that he was going to take a test called a disogram. What's a disogram? I said, what is that? He said, it's where he go into my back and shoot some dye, and that'll show up whatever's going on. Then we did this. And thank the Lord, we found out what it was. Uh, I had a slip disc. And so he said, well, Terry, we going to, um, we, since we know what it is now, that we could operate. Then I was so happy. Then he said, I said, when we going to do it? He said, well, okay, slow down. <laughs> he said, we going to do this. But he said, I'm going to have to give you one more test to make sure this is it. Because he said, when I go into your back, I want to know exactly what I'm going to operate on, what I'm going to do. I need to know that this is what it really is. So we're going to give you one more test. I got upset with Dr. McCord. And I said, Dr. McCord, you have to do this. I said, I'm like, he said, Terry, I'm going to do this. But I have to be sure. So a couple weeks later, he gave me another one. 
and it came out to be the same thing. I was so happy. So he told me that he was gonna give me the surgery. I had to wait a couple of weeks and uh, he gave me the surgery and I was so happy and I was relieved. So he had to send me to another doctor because he had to give me a stented surgery. First, he was going to have to go through my stomach to get to a part in my back that he couldn't get through from the back. And he did this. I rested that Monday, he, and he did it, gave it to me on the Monday. Tuesday, I rest, and Wednesday, he took me back downstairs to the mercy room, and he did the second part. When that was over, I know I was like in a lot of pain. But Dr. McCord, he came in my room and he told me that everything was okay and you're going to be all right. I told Dr. McCord, I took his hand and I told him he was my angel. And I thank God for him. I prayed before. I went to the mercy room uh, before I had the operation because that's what you do. You thank the Lord. You hope that you're going to be okay. But deep down inside, I knew I was going to be okay. I knew I was in the right hands because he just gave me that, helped my hand and told me that everything was going to be all right and I knew everything was going to be all right. So I know a lot of people they might not be as lucky as I was. I went through that for 23 years, but I found a doctor that could help me. So I know a lot of patients out there think uh, that it's never going to end, but it will end. You just got to hold on and do the best you can and just hope that you could find the right doctor that really knows what to do to find out what your problem is. Like I said, Dr. McCord, he saved my life. So I'm here to let everyone know that you just have to hold on and keep hoping. So now my kids, they still have a mother. I have grandkids now and they have a grandmother. And um, I'm doing good. And a lot of times the insurance company uh, send your doctor through a lot of changes. And Dr. McCord could gave up on me a long time ago because my insurance um, took him through a lot. Um, so it was times that I had to call my insurance company and tell my insurance company, look, you know, I'm in a lot of pain, I'm not working, and my doctor need to give me this surgery, but it's only so much that he could do right now for me until y'all give him permission to give me this surgery. So he's at a standstill, I'm at a standstill, but I'm hurting, and um, so he, a lot of doctors that goes through all this drama that insurance company put them through, um, they could give up, but they don't. And Dr. McCord did not give up on me. And in the process of person having back problems, we have to take a lot of prescription pills like pain pills and muscle relaxers. And if you take these pills for a long period of time, you can get addicted to these pills. So it's really important for the insurance companies to know that we are suffering and the amount of pills that we taking, we could get addicted to, the, to these pills and they need to give doctors um, permission a lot sooner than they do to give patients like me 
this operation so we won't have to suffer as much as we do and as long as we do and so we could get well and get back to work so we could take care of our family and pay our bills and Lord know pay the doctors that you know give us our operation so it's important and these insurance companies need to keep this in mind that I could be the daughter or I could be the mother that needs this operation and um, they need to think about that and be sincere and you know and understand that and Dr. McCord saved my life and he's my angel. <laughs>